They exchange punches. <laughs> He wanted action, and they are delivering. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. Can you imagine walking into this car, walking into an arena with such nice people chanting your name? You can't even hear your corner man whispering in your ear. I feel in situations like that where it can be terrorizing if you haven't got your wits about you. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Yo, why does Mitch will punch? Just misses. Sometimes when you're fighting a counterfighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. I do counter punch it, but the people that make the history of our sport. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. Skill for skill, cut for time. It's a match made in heaven. Roy Jones Jr. in trouble. Sakola's finest is down. One, two, three, four, five. Give me your glove. They're on their feet, but is this the beginning of the end? So then look at his corner, look at the instructions. They're telling him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee, save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner and somehow get to the end of the round. Oh my word, Canelo just got clipped. <coughs> To go and what, can you believe it? Roy Jones Jr. is on the back foot now. Ring bell, ring down. <laughs> so it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. You're being put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it Sheesh. a round. Right. Okay, out you feel, out you feel. They ring the bell, and here we go. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner, going to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to close the round. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. <laughs> Trying to land that jab. Just got rocked in a big way. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. You've never seen Canelo in this sort of trouble. How are they still standing? Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. This is with a straight left. And a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. These two are the perfect dance partners. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you take the first one. Canelo in serious jeopardy here going to the canvas. And apparently no risk. Oh my word, 
Canelo just got clipped. <clears throat> So this was an unexpected turn of events. What happens next? That is a show of character. When you're put down, your ego's hurt, your chin's hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got to get up, suck it up, and think right back in the game again. It's so, so hard for a fighter. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just We've never seen Canelo in this sort of trouble. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. Okay, how do you feel? How do you feel? All right, three, four, and some stupid. All right, don't worry about the knockdown. Don't worry about the tough round. And relax. Breathe and relax. Right, this next round, I just want you to keep moving. Don't take any clean shots. <laughs> Every time he gets close, tie him up. Grab We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Yo, I won't move! He won't move! Well done with that counter shot. The straight right just misses. Nice counter punch right up the middle. When you've got two evenly matched fighters in this weight class, it sometimes comes down to who's in better condition. Canelo Alvarez just got rocked in a big way. Looks like you're out of trouble. Need to pick things up here in the second half of the round. Apparently, it's going to take more than that to keep this fighter down. Oh, he can smell blood. Look at that. He's put in round once. He knows what shot works and where to land it. They try to do it again. He's just not got to get trigger happy. The corner needs to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. <laughs> No rest for the weary. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. And that punch misses. Punch. He misses with that straight. Roy Jones Jr., believe it or not, may want to take a knee here. They're happy this round's coming to an end. Ten seconds left. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10 8 after the knockdown. Can make or break a fighter. Breathe and relax. Right. Okay, how do you feel? How do you feel? All right, breathe. Focus. Nothing stupid. All right, don't worry about the knockdown. 
And there's the bell to start the round. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? Todd, listen to me. <laughs> We are live at the CompuBox Academy. The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisham, and next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. It's time for our tale of the tape. It's Amir King Khan, 155 pounds, 5 foot 8 inches tall, with a reach of 71 inches. And facing him, Sugar Ray Robinson in the middleweight division, 160 pounds, 5 foot 11 inches tall, with a reach of just over 72 inches. Todd, this is well anticipated. I'm so looking forward to this tear-up. These two are really up for it. You know what? Nobody believes they're going to lose. Amir Khan, he's Bolton's finest. Watch for those hands tonight. They are as fast as they come. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990, and he fights out of Harlem, New York. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at that.
This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the red corner. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. Todd, I'm going to stay here till the end of the night. Because if you're a fight fan like me, this is what I live for. Under the bright lights here for this one. Really good matchup. And we're hoping for a really good fight. And there's the bell to start the round. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. Swing and a miss with the jab. So much free hype surrounding this fight, and the fans are on the edge of their seats. It's so hot, it's so heated. There's a heat on here, you don't understand. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on, you're thirsty, you're sweating, and you're getting under. You're on the wrong side of a beating. This can be hell fight. Oh boy, Amir Khan, dazed. <laughs> and he just put Amir Khan yes. down. What was wrong with my TV? Well, he's back on his feet, but right now, the corner's got to think about throwing in the towel. That is a show of character. When you put down your regal hair, your chin hair. One, two, three, four, five. Listen to me. Are you okay? They've got to pick things up halfway through the round here. So they're back on their feet, but let's see how much they have left in the tank. The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. What now is about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to G you up. They've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. Just misses. This is not how the story was supposed to go. Yo, why I can't fucking guard? Damn! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you still want to fight? This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. No, save me by the bell, save me by the bell, save me. Thank you, God. Shoot! Both men getting off the canvas in that Damn. Hey, okay, girl, fuck! We're hoping for an all action slugfest. How do you score the last round, Johnny, as both of these fighters went to the canvas? That is showing the fitness. That is showing the stamina. That is showing the hard work done in the gym. If you can get knocked down and get back up and knock your opponent down... Big shot from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. How about that will to win and refusal to stay down as this fight continues? Hard, he's up. I I'll be surprised if he moves back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up on the stool again? That was a shot.
The referee says we will fight on. Not sure about this one. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then boom. He's back in the same spot again. If you want, he's got away with it. You can do it again. Halfway through the round, and they've got some work to do to get back into it. Not the best start, but you know what? The corner man now is down for them doing their job. But get through the round, regroup, right, freshen up. Boom. Different tactics. <laughs> A perfect counter lands. This fighter is all about finesse, using a lot of angles and lateral movement. Todd, this is what it's all about. Hit and don't get hit. Jab, move, pop, slip. Use your footwork. Drive your opponent crazy. I don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. <laughs> Just when you think you're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back. Robinson got buzzed there. He's in trouble. Not the best of rounds with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Robinson in that last round. There's always a way back. Don't ever run anybody off. Get that oxygen back in your body. Come on. Breathe, breathe, and relax. Breathe and relax. Right. Okay, how'd you feel? How'd you feel? All right, three, four. Nothing stupid. All right, don't worry about the knockdown. Don't worry about the tough round. Relax. Breathe and relax. Right. This next round, I just want you to keep moving. Don't take any clean shots. And every time he gets close, tie him up, grab a hold of him. Good. Right. In this next round, I want you to get through the round. Just get through the round. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't take any clean shots. And every round, just get through this round. <laughs> get in the they ring the bell and here we go. They ring the bell and here we go. They ring the bell and here we go. <laughs> this fighter's completely content to sit back. Well, they're back up now, but they've got to be cautious. Cannot afford to trade back now, can they, Johnny? What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination. <laughs> when are we going to see a jab from these two? <laughs> Sugar Ray Robinson just got rocked. He's firing back now. Sometimes offense can be your best defense. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Halfway through the round, and I think he knows he's got a lot of work to do. There's a lot of work to do, and you know what? It's hard to pull back. Don't get into the habit of losing. Don't get into the habit of being second place. You've got to change the habit. You've got to change something. Because otherwise, why should it change? The fuck? They got knocked down, but didn't stay down. Once again, showing you how much grit and courage this fighter has. He's got to waste time. Get set behind the referee. When he comes close, tie him up. The referee's then got to party. Walk around the ring. You've just got to make the most of it. Because if you let him jump back on you again, he's going to get momentum and put him down again. And that's a lot of points to lose in the round. Just misses with that uppercut. 
Robinson hit hard and he may be ready to go. Blocks that left hook. You can Let's talk about Robinson in that last round. Well, this is a very important break here for this fighter. They've been knocked down twice. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They barely survived the last round after two knockdowns. Let's see what happens here. I have no idea what they have left. What, how how do you come back from something like that? Look on twice. How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? He tells you you've got enough. Yo, why are you hitting this thing? You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. A knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. A knockout victory? That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. I've arrived. Try that again. It will happen all over again. This rivalry has been brewing for a long time, and it spills over tonight at the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisha. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. It's time now for our tale of the tape. First, we have Larry Holmes. Six foot three inches tall, weighed in at 226 pounds, and has an 81-inch reach. And his opponent, Tommy the Duke Morrison. He weighed in at 223 pounds and has a reach of 76 inches. There's an amazing... He 
here comes the Easton assassin, Larry Holmes. Dominated the heavyweight division in the early 80s. In fact, he went 48. Tommy the Duke Morrison, one of the most entertaining and electrifying heavyweights in the world. Some say one of the best left hooks in the history of the heavyweight division. They have waited for this fight for so long, Tom. This is ridiculous. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Eastern Pennsylvania. Here is one of boxing's all-time greats, the heavyweight champion of the world, known as the... So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down. And there's the bell to start the round. Hit him with a left jab. And that's a scoring straight left hand. So much pre-hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. It's so hot, it's so heated, there's a roof on here, you don't understand. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on, you're thirsty, you're sweating, and you're getting under. You're on the wrong side of a beating. This can be a fire on Tommy Morrison, oh no, what's happened? <coughs> Can't continue to take those punches. What is he doing in there? Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Work on defense, blocking and stopping and shooting. And Morrison did not handle that punch well. And down goes Morrison. Continue. Halfway through the round, and they've got some work to do to get back into it. So he's back on his feet, but the judges aren't going to give him this round for sure. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your eagle's hurt, your troops hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got to get up, suck it up, and think, right, I'm back in the game again. It's so, so hard to fight it. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then boom. Back in the same spot again. It happened once. You got to win with it. You can do it again. Punch, counter punch. They both want a knockout. You can tell. Tommy Morrison. Oh no. What's happened? Just one punch away from turning his fortunes around. Let's talk about Morrison in that last round. Well, he's got Bambi legs walking back to the corner, but he's still in it. There's always a way back. Don't ever run anybody off. Yeah. Right. Okay, how do you feel? How do you feel? All right, three, four. Listen, I'm stupid. All right, don't worry about the knockdown. Don't worry about the tough round. Just relax. Breathe and relax. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They've got to be feeling confident now after what happened last round. Two knockdowns in that last round. There was sheer panic in that corner. What do they do? Do they throw the towel in? Do they let him come back out again? Because they know they're fighting. They just land to the sleeper. When you're training to fight a swarmer, John, you know this better than anybody. You have got to be in deep physical condition. And they're not going to let you breathe. And Morrison did not handle that punch well. No, we don't see a knockdown. Recovery skills 
say oh, what a shot it was. Completely <laughs> gone, I thought you could have Tommy Morrison, oh no, what's what? happened? Taking a breath, but instead, they're in there throwing bombs again. What? What? We could win the job. What do you do? You step back. Steady. And Morrison did not handle that punch well. <coughs> I don't believe what we're seeing here. Now you've got to wait. You've got to get on the back. Tommy Morrison, oh no, what's happened? <coughs> Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. Landed everything he's got, but he can't get him out of there. Being dazed now. And Morrison did not handle that punch well. It happened, you saw it here live. I'm Todd Grisham, and there's nothing quite like a CompuBox Academy crowd, and they are vocal here tonight. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Larry Holmes, six foot three, with a reach of 81 inches. He weighed in at 213 pounds. He'll square off against the Rock, Rocky Marciano, the Brockton Brawler. This heavyweight is anything but standing only five foot ten inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Yeah, if you've got a brawl that's in front of you that's going to put you under pressure, get to your ribs and get close, you've got to be fast on your feet. If you've got the height and the reach, which I always go for, I, I depend on that. But if someone is going to push you back, keep pushing you down, you're going to be under pressure. Don't get stuck in the corner, because if you do... 
and here comes the Rocky Marciano, 201 pounds of pure terror. This man is an absolute machine. It'll be ding ding from first off, they're off. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner from Eastern Pennsylvania, here is one of boxing's all-time great. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. This is it. This is that place. This is that, that fight venue. This is the place where the action happens. So a capacity crowd here for this one. We've been waiting a long time for this matchup. And here we go. And there's the bell to start the round. He needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punch is better. One, two, three, four, five. Are you okay? This fighter continues to show how much heart he's got, but the corner may have to intervene here. That is a show of character. When you're put down, you're The referee says we will fight on. Not sure about this one. Got to look at his corner. Look for the instructions. They're telling him to calm down. Make the most of the count. Get up. Get down, move. Get behind the referee. Save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. And somehow get to the end of the round. <laughs> So he beats the count and will continue. What bravery being shown here. Some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some fighters, it makes them angry. Then they get back into the mix again. I want to know what sort of character. Well, they beat the count and are ready to go again. Well, now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they tell you what they try to tell you what you're doing wrong. Jackie Marciano in trouble. Do you believe this? So it's onward and upward after a knockout win here. A knockout victory. That is, Todd, did you see the shot? That's not a knockout.
The crowd has been waiting for this one for a very long time. Welcome to the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? It's time for our tale of the tape. Julio Cesar Chavez, 171 centimeters tall with a reach of 173. There's only one, Ricky Hatton, 65 kilos on the button. He's 171 centimeters tall with... Julio Cesar Chavez making his way to the ring multi-time. Ricky... This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. Here is one of boxing's all-time great... A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. You know, look at the stars, ex-fighters, ex-champions, ringside. That's what these fights do. That's what these venues do. Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the high? And there's the bell to start the round. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punch is better. They both want a highlight reel knockout. So much pre-hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. It's so hot. Ricky Hatton has been clipped. <laughs> Maybe not as hurt as we thought. He can't continue to take those punches. What is he doing in there? Down goes the hitman. One, two, three, four. Come to me. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. He's got to waste time. Get step behind the referee. When he comes in close, tie him up. The referee's then got to power you. Walk around the ring. You've just got to make the most of it. Because if you let him jump back on you again, he's going to get momentum and pull you down again. And that's a lot of points to lose in the ring. Champion might go down. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. You got caught sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. We wanted action, and they are delivering. The perfect counter lands. Nice counter. This is not good news for Ricky Hatton. And it appears the onslaught is over. Ricky Hatton right now, not where he wants to be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Listen to me, are you okay? Let's talk about Hatton in that last round. A borderline disastrous round, but he's still on his feet. Unbelievable heart, knocked down twice. Please relax. Right. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Something has got to change after two knockdowns in the last round. Two knockdowns in that last round. There'll be sheer panic in that corner. What do they do? Do they throw the towel in? Do they let him come back out again? Because they know their fighter is like a lamb to the slaughter. This fighter is a swarmer. They're like a mosquito that just won't leave you alone. Except, are we about to see Ricky Hatton go down? Uh -uh. 
Right. Somehow weathered the this is not good news for Ricky Hatton. They've avoided catastrophe. So time to go celebrate after a knockout win here. Accuracy. Welcome to the CompuBox Academy. The crowd is buzzing for this one here tonight. I'm Todd Grisham. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. This is Muhammad Ali. And now making the walk, he's... The Rock, Rocky Marciano. The Brockton brawler himself. One of the greatest fighters of all time. A sparkling record and one of the best to ever do it. This is going to be one hell of a fight. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing in this corner, undefeated in his campaign with a record of 20 wins, no losses, 16 wins coming by way of knockout. The renowned U.S. Olympic gold medalist, and the newly not too many seats to be had in this arena Five. and there's the bell to start the round <laughs> which fighter will say no moss <laughs> i keep marciano in trouble do you believe this <laughs> It appears they're out of 
trouble, at least for now. But that just goes to show you one clean punch changes everything. But what recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed back on it. That could never happen. Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down. One, two, three, four, five. Can you continue? his moment but has it gone by defense 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 is everything because they got shot once they know they can get caught again so for now just defense work on defense are we witnessing one of the all-time greats go down <laughs> Try to buy time. It appears that the moment of trouble has been Go with something, Rocky. Looks like are we about to witness history? The great Rocky Marciano in serious trouble. No, Rocky Marciano was supposed to be the one knocking this guy out. Looks like they've shaken it off. It's been a tough round so far. Marciano fighting to survive. He's never been knocked out. He's back up, but the corner has to take some responsibility here and maybe stop this fight. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your eagles hurt, your chin's hurt, your body's hurt, and you've got to get up. Suck it up. I think right. Rocky Marciano covering up, trying to buy some time to get out of trouble. <laughs> You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. A knockout victory and one of the...